so how is everyone doing today you are welcome to the kitchen well i just want to make a quick um food right here and i felt like we can you know seize this opportunity to have one or two discussion so i hope everyone is enjoying their stay where they have you know i've been thinking these days of a lot of things that with those experience i've really been thinking these days of quite some things sometimes you just kind of wonder you know when you look at life and what life brings to the door and you begin to like what do i do and what do i not do well at such a time what you do is you just let it be you know you let it go and you allow the lord to take control so you are most welcome to my kitchen right here we'll be looking at making a very 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 simple meal you know very 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 simple meal i'm actually looking at frying eggs with some sanding you know and um real quick i'll go ahead and put some spices in here you don't have to spice your egg too much it all depends on how you actually want it so i will just be using a very mild spice for this one spices for this one i don't know what you are going through what i just put there it's garlic powder is what i just pulled there and i'll be using a little bit of um curry with it as well i actually saw this curry in african store and i kind of like let me just pick it up and see you know what's up with this and i must be honest with you i really do like it so you might want to look into this it's a very nice one and also you know i kind of prefer to be using seasoned salt sometimes i use the regular white salt that i pour in this bottle i like to like reuse my can but i kind of prefer seasoned salt mostly so i am using a little bit of that it's like by the time you use seasoned salt you've already you know make use of most of the season and a little bit of crushed pepper i actually made this crushed pepper myself and one of these days i will show you how i did that so i just reuse plastic just something i just kind of like like to do and another thing if you do watch my channel uh you know like all those little posts i do <laughs> if you watch them you will realize that i normally say that whenever you use um ground turmeric you know it's usually best for you to also use black pepper because of the kukumi in the turmeric so whenever you make use of turmeric 
please always make sure you use black pepper okay so it will help with the assimilation of the kukumi in there so all right we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of um ground turmeric in that and a little bit of black pepper in that so you kind of like you know just measure it to even each other all right so like i said earlier we are not using much things at all so we'll go ahead and mix that together so tell me how is your day going how is life how is everything with you you know whatever we go through in this life there are times it is not things that we want that is happening to us you know but then again that doesn't mean that the best cannot come out of of your life that doesn't mean that you cannot make it you know we have to understand that we are facing challenges in life and I mean, life itself is not even a bed of roses, you know, as we normally heard. But at the same time, we don't give up on life. You know, you don't, um, we don't, we shouldn't give up on life because we are not meant to give up on life. So together with this, I'm going to be adding the nutritional yeast as well. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of the nutritional yeast. I kind of have fallen in love with this nutritional yeast of a thing and putting it in food. Some of you may have noticed it in some of my food already. So after adding that, I really don't use um, Maggi. So if you are expecting that you are going to see me using Maggi and all that, it's very, very rare for me to do that. So I'll go ahead and miss this egg together right here and after mixing that together we're just going to go ahead and i'll put my fry pan somewhere here and i'll go ahead and have this covered for now while we go to the next session that we want to do so here yeah, i'll go ahead and cover it so i got this ready so that when it's time for us to fry this egg we can fry this egg okay so i'll just go ahead and set it somewhere for now all right so let's come to the session of doing the sanding you know i've always said something i don't know i always say something that sometimes some people don't know some people don't know that all these sandings that we eat okay all these sanding it's it's good it's healthy okay it's proteinous right but the thing is some people don't some people when they eat the sanding it's kind of hot them sometimes they say they maybe their stomach or something they complain blah 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 but the truth is that um this sanding needs to be cleaned out i know sometimes i kind of all my clothes sometimes i kind of don't really you know post a lot because of the length but now that i want to be doing this live video showing cooking and letting us discuss you know another session i'm introducing to to this channel you are going to be seeing some things that might be like wow i don't know about that so right here what we are doing now is that we are going to be getting this sanding cleaned out before we begin frying of our egg so here is the sanding if you choose to use the oil you can use the oil but for me i really most times don't use the oil mostly so what i do is i just turn on my sink right here and i run the hot water so i just turn on my sink right here i run the hot water and i pour out the oil okay that way you don't block your sink so that way you don't block your sink and the um oil will be able to you know run smoothly in your sink and then the next thing for us to do 
is to carefully bring out our fish in the plates okay so make sure your hands are impeccably clean before doing all of this so i'll go ahead and do the other one as well so just pour out the oil and just run the hot water and you can use this method by pouring it out directly now we are going to save this can okay because we are still going to make use of it right here okay so what we are going to do next now that the sink is clean what now that the sink is clean what we are going to do next is this now you see these are the sandings right that we already poured out all right so you are going to gently open up your fish one by one just gently open it up and when you open it up like that you see the worms around the bones you see that's right there is not healthy now if you like the bone of the sanding you can keep the bone okay but usually i normally take this out you know why i take it out because sometimes there will be some of the worms in there and you won't know and you just go and eat that and then you end up eating this sanding you won't know you might start what's wrong with my stomach my stomach is hurting me and all that and sometimes you will be surprised maybe one of these I will, maybe it's going to be in one of these sometimes you'll be surprised you will see poop in these sandings okay so this one you can tell each of them have worms so just make sure you yeah, do you see the poop right there that green thing that brown thing right there right there is the poop can you see so this is why I would encourage you to always make sure, okay, that you open up your sanding to clean it out before you eat it. So now that we are going to begin this, um, let us cook and talk, you are going to be seeing me always doing this. So when you see me doing this, just know that it's because of this. You see the worms. You just kind of like bring them out you know and just um get them out of the way i know some people probably like ah i like my sanding oh but then again you eat it finish and you are like ah my stomach so let's take this out of the way all right so my dear i was talking to you earlier about um not giving up on life you know I don't know whatever it is that you are going through, but know that God knows about it and God cares for us. Okay. God knows about what you are going through, that situation that you are in. God is in there with you. You might not see him. Yes, because, you know, God is spirit. But at the same time, I want you to know that God is alive. All right. So God is spirit, he sees you, he knows you, he created you, you know. So he knows everything that we are passing through. And in that situation, once you trust him, he's going to help you out. So as you can see, we've already cleaned out our sanding. You see that worm that I just saw around the bone? So just make sure that... You clean out this your sanding very well. You'll be surprised at the amount of debt that I'm bringing out of it. You see? And that's just from two. You can imagine how many will be out if it was more than two. So now we have that cleaned out. This should not be eaten by anyone at all. This should be trashed. Okay? So we we'll go ahead and trash that. And I'll go ahead and wash my hands here before we go to the next step, okay? So, back to our discussion. God created us, you know. He knows you. He knows me. He formed us. And anything about our life is concerned about it. He's well informed about it. So that is the reason why we should ensure 
that we are always with him always standing by him and you know not giving up on him at all don't just give up on god all right so now we are here to get this started Okay, so the next thing for us to do now, I've already rinsed the pot before putting it here, and I'll be making use of some peanut oil to fry this egg, okay? I don't like a lot of oil when frying, so... I actually watch the content of my oil in cooking and you'll be seeing that as time goes on all right so we are going to go ahead and turn on the oil and let us talk while the oil eats so let's have a word or two let's talk all right so how y'all doing it's been a little while yeah right <laughs> okay so right here we are trying to fry this egg and and i just want to talk all right i just want to encourage somebody so while we are waiting on the oil i felt like okay let me bring the camera to my face and show who this girl is you know so this girl is this girl <laughs> so here am i so like we were saying you know we we're talking earlier about you know not giving up and whatever it is you are going through you know just make sure that you let god have his way you know let god have his way i understand that sometimes you know we are tired sometimes we need answers to our questions you know we have a lot of questions on our mind and we are wondering and we are bothered we are concerned we are like okay god what exactly is going on with me you know, sometimes you just want to sleep. You can't even sleep. You are just there on your bed. You are rolling around and you are like, what do I do? You know, in situations like that, you just hand it over to God. You just, just allow God to have his way in you. All right, let me take the camera back to our food dryer. I'm going to try and make it high enough. Okay, so as you can see, the oil is hot and at this point it is ready for frying you know you don't really have to allow the oil to be this hot but it's hot we're having discussion and i enjoy the discussion period so here is our egg so here is our egg that we missed earlier and at this point i'll go ahead and pour the egg in the pot So, having poured the oil, the egg in the pot, the next thing for me now is to, you know, allow this to fry. But while this is frying, 
I'll go ahead at this point and put my sanding. Remember the sanding we did earlier? So I'll go ahead and put the sanding inside. Okay. I'm not going to really pieces the fish in there. But at the same time, just make sure that your hands are always impeccably clean. Okay. Always make sure that. And remember, we pour the oil of the sanding out. So I did not make use of the oil at all. So the oil you are seeing in the plates is just from the one from the sanding, which of course I'm still not going to use. I just need the fish inside. Okay. So, as you can see, I'll put my sanding in there and allow it to fry. All right, so I'm back. So, in situations like that, that we were talking earlier, Okay, in situations like that, the question is, what do you do? What do you do in situations like that? You just allow God to have his way. Pray about it, you know, like, God, I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Sometimes we cannot even pray, depending on what you're going through. You know, sometimes you are like discouraged, and to even pray, you are not even encouraged to do it. Just utter the words in your heart. You know, alter the words in your heart. I'm an advocate of, you know, just don't be without a word or two, you know, to God. You know, alter it in your heart, alter it in your mind, you know. God, please, I, I, I am not happy or God, I'm going through this, you know. Just alter the word and the prayer. And you'll be surprised that right there that you are discouraged, a word or two will come to your heart. You know, God will probably, you know, direct you to maybe somewhere on social media or somebody will call you, you know, to counsel you or something like that. Now, if you are wondering what is inside this egg, is sanding is what is inside this egg, okay? So when you are doing this, you leave it on medium, all right? That way it does not burn. And you can also choose to leave it on low too. I mean, what does it ought to get a perfect result in what you are cooking? And I really pray for everyone that is going through one or two things at this time. I pray for you that God in his mercy will see you through in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you look up to God for, I really pray for you that God will answer your prayers and your needs shall be met in Jesus' name. You know, so this is my prayer for you. As you can see, our egg right here is um, ready. I'll just um, let it cook a little bit more. I mean, I'm frying this egg. So if I use the word cook, it doesn't mean that... I'm putting water in it to cook it. <laughs> so, make sure that you don't leave out God in whatever you do, okay? Make sure you don't leave out God, you know. One with God is more than the majority. Is really more than the majority. One with God is more than the majority. So, thank you, you know for 
those that uh, connect to watch again you are very welcome to my kitchen now more than before and um, the good Lord will help us that we will not disappoint him we will not disappoint God you know I mean at the end of our race on earth our goal and target should be to get to heaven and it is my prayer that we will not miss heaven okay we will not miss heaven no you won't miss it i won't miss it none of us will miss it So thank you for coming around to watch this. I am so very grateful. This is simply ready. As you can see, it's a very simple meal that you can cook with your family and enjoy with your family. Okay? So you can cook this simple meal with your family you can eat this with bread we are actually going to be eating this with bread okay so you can eat it any bread of your choice you can eat it with bread you can actually cook yam and eat it with yam you can cook potatoes and eat it with potatoes you know and if you just want to eat it like this you can just snack on it you can eat it like this all right so we are going to be eating this with bread and with tea All right, so you all did well participating in this meal today. As you can see, that came out awesomely well. I hope you've learned one or two things in this video. When you don't use a lot of oil in frying your egg, you don't have to bother about having oil in your pots, as you can see. Okay, so I am a big fan of not using oil like that. Okay, whether you have the tendency to be big or not. I am a big fan of not using a lot of oil. So you can see yourself that we did this frying of egg together and our pot is it's very well our pot is very well cleaned out, clean and no oil. So thank you for watching. And till I come online again, stay blessed, stay rapturable in the Lord, and the good Lord be with you. As always, it is your girl. Thanks and God. It is me. Thanks and God bless you. Thank you.